When discussing material quality, the hardness and strength of a material is an important parameter. Microhardness testing is used to measure the hardness of a sample on a microscopic scale. During the test, a diamond indenter is pressed into a sample's surface with a defined force for a specific duration. For microhardness testing, according to Vickers, the indenter is a diamond in the form of a square-based pyramid with an angle of 136 degrees. For microhardness testing, according to Noop, the indenter has the shape of an extended pyramid. It has a length-to-width ratio of 7 to 1 and angles of 172 degrees for the long edge and 130 degrees for the short edge. After the indent is made, it's observed and measured under a microscope. The hardness number is calculated based on the surface area of the indent, divided by the applied force with a hardness value in kilogram force per square millimeter. The microhardness testing customized solution is a measurement workflow to determine the hardness number according to Vickers or Noop. To select the microhardness testing solution, use the materials solution workflow in the right tool window. The image area of the customized solution is synchronized with the live or acquired images in the document area. The image toolbar on the top left offers several options. Display a scale bar. Display a crosshair. Refresh display synchronizes the image area with the active image of the document area. Select the zoom factor for the active image from the list or enter a value into the field. Fit to window adjusts the zoom to display the whole image. You can also switch between images using the gallery tool window. Find additional tool windows in the left area. Click the arrow button at the top of the left pane to expand the selection menu. This opens a list of tool windows currently displayed in the customized solution. By default, the Gallery and Properties tool windows are pre-selected. Click the Settings button on the top right to customize the list of selected tool windows. Click Adjust Page Layout and select the tool windows you need. The workflow area on the right has options that guide you through the measurement procedure. Click the Settings button to apply sample-specific parameters. Here you can select your method, set your indenter parameters such as load and time, apply additional sample information. Click the Measure button to start the measurement loop. where a rectangle is drawn with the mouse. Click and hold the left mouse button on the first edge of the squared sample indent. Move the mouse to the opposite edge of the sample and confirm the length by releasing the left mouse button. If it is a symmetrical indent, the second diagonal will fit automatically. If not, you can correct the measurement via the grip points with the left mouse button. To complete the measurement, click the Accept Indent Measure button or click the right mouse button. Proceed with the next indent. In the case of a mistake, you can delete the measurement row by pressing the Delete key on your keyboard. Repeat the measurement. To finish the measurement loop, click the Stop Measurement button. The results are displayed in the sheet area of the tool window. Here you can find the hardness number, the length of the diagonals, and the coordinates of the intersection. In addition, a statistic of the measurement is displayed in the workflow area on the right. To save the custom measurement overlay, transfer it to the image in the gallery as an overlay element using the Copy Measure Items button. Right-click on the image in the gallery to save it. The Save Results button exports the data and the sample-specific parameters either as an Excel workbook or as an Excel-compatible file.
To learn more about Press of Software, visit evidencescientific.com.